Alright, welcome back to the second video in Matrix. Now what we're looking at are exchange rates and buying power. So, buying power, very simply. If we think about the strength of a currency, we're actually thinking about its buying power. How much can I buy for my rand or my dollar? Alright, uh, how powerful is it? You know. Alright, so, buying power is relative to the cost of living in the specific country. Okay. If it's really cheap to live in South Africa, then your buying power is going to be quite high because your rand can buy you quite a lot within the country. If you're able to buy more food, the rent is, uh, is quite cheap, all right, it's going to be quite good. So if you're able to buy more food or the rent the same size apartment for cheaper in Cape Town using rands than you could in London using your pounds, then the rand has more buying power. Okay, you get more bang for your buck, all right. Buying power can change over time, and economists like to keep track of these changes. These changes allow us to see if a currency is in fact over or undervalued. So, if there is a situation in a country where you suddenly have rampant inflation, I, I hate to keep on pointing out Zimbabwe, but for example Zimbabwe, the buying power of the Zimbabwean dollar uh, in the early 2000s became very very poor all right you ended up having to pay a lot of money for the same products that you'd have to get anywhere else in the world okay in the next video we're going to take a look at a cute little measure of buying power okay so stay safe thank you very much